In this presentation, we're going to look at some financial maths uh, calculations. So this is from the Business Maths 1 paper, and it's financial maths. So uh, what is the future value of €5,000 invested for five years? And in each case, the interest rate is going to be 12%. So the present value, P0, we'll write, uh, we'll write as P0. And that is equal to 5,000. The period in years is T, and that is equal to 5 years. And the interest rate in each of the four questions, in each of the three questions, I, is equal to 0 0.12. So the first thing we're asked to do is find out the, uh, find, what is the future value of 5,000 invested for five years when we are in uh, at 12 percent compound uh, uh, compounded annually so the formula we're going to use in this case is very straightforward the future value pt is equal to p0 the present value by the interest rate one plus i to the power of t okay so let's work this out that's equal to five thousand times 1 plus i is 1.12 to the power of 5. So 1.12 to the power of 5. This requires, uh, this part here, uh, you would work out on, with your, on your calculator by using this button here. It's on most calculators, x to the power of y. You should get an answer of 5,000. When you work that out, you should get an answer of 1.762. Actually, I'm just going to round it to that many decimal places. And so, uh, when we multiply that out, we get 8811.71. And again, there's a little bit of rounding going on, so I just I, I uh, rounded it up to two decimal places because that's what we denominate. Um, you add money in, so two decimal places. So that's the answer to the first one there. 8,811.71. Okay, so the next one is as follows. We're going to use all the same calculations again, but what we're going to do is we are going to compound continuously. So when we compound continuously, we use a different formula. And the formula here that we would use is PT, the future value, equals the current value, P0, times the exponential of i times t okay now we're using all the same values here again but it's actually pt is what we're looking for p0 is 5000 we're dealing with five years it should be a five there t equals five years and i equals 0 0.12 okay so what we're going to do is actually work this out p0 is 5000 times the exponential of 0 0.12 times 5. That's equal to the 5,000 times the exponential of 0 0.6. Now, again, a couple of uh, the calculators, the general calculator calculators have the, a, a button like this, e to the x. Okay. Or some calculators have a button like this. That's the exponential. This is just another way of writing it. EXP and brackets like that. So you just try out one of those two. Uh, if you have one of those two uh, buttons on your calculator, that's what you will use. So let's work this out. It's 5,000 times one point. That's a little multiplication symbol there, actually, just to... We use a dot sometimes just to sort of not let uh, it, uh, have too much space taken over. 2 to 8.22. Okay. And when we work that out, we get 9110.60. 9110.60. And again, there's a little bit of difference due to how, when, when, and where you apply decimal places and round them down and up. So it's nine thousand one hundred and ten point and sixty cents. The last part is when we compound quarterly. 
So we're going to go back. We're going to sort of use. Let's go back here a second. We're going to use a formula like this one again, but we're going to change it slightly. Here we compound once a year. In the next in the next case, we're going to compound several times a year. So there's a slightly different formula that we're going to use here, and it's as follows: PT future value equals P zero by one plus I. And what I'm going to do here is uh, add in a number of times a year. And here when we compound quarterly, it's going to equal 4. So 4 is the number of times it gets compounded uh, quarterly. So I'm going to divide i by n, and then we're going to put that to the power of t times n, where t is the number of years, and n is the number of times per year we would uh, compound our interest. So let's do that. p0 is 5,000. 1 plus I, let's actually just just work this out over on the side here. It's just a sidebar here. I divided by N is not 0.12 divided by 4, and that is equal to 0.03. Also, T to the power, T times N is 5 times by 4, that's equal to 20. So what we're doing here is this, 1 plus 0.03 to the power of 20, 5,000 by 1.03 to the power of 20. That is equal to 1 or 5,000. And again, when you work this out, you work this out the same way as you would do the first one using the uh, the same calculator. It's the same uh, calculator operation. That's equal to 1.806 approximately. And just working out a calculator, you should get a value close to 9,000 and 30.55 cent. Okay, so that is the answer to the third one. So again, the important thing to remember here is the formula at the back of your exam paper. I'm just going to bring up the formula at the back of the exam paper here for a second. So this is the statistics page. I just have to go up here for a second. And there, uh, there's the compound interest formula there. As you notice it's the only one you're given, so just to be mindful of what you're given in the back of the exam paper. Alright, that's the end of this presentation.